Hi, Karen with you today. Thank you so much for joining me. I have a scrapbook layout for Kidaholics kits and I'm using the 2023 kit for my layout today. And firstly, let me say Happy New Year. I hope you had a wonderful festive and holiday season and had a lovely New Year's. Whether you spent it at home or spent it with family and friends or went out on the town, I hope you had a lovely um, evening into the new year. I went super simple for my layout today um, and I just love this pattern paper. I think this was from the one of the Jan Hadfield pattern papers that we got. I think it's in the Stardust collection or it's called Stardust or something like that. It's so, so pretty and I thought it worked beautifully with this photo of my nephew Oliver. His blue eyes just pop off the page of this photo um, and I thought that this would be a lovely tone to sort of sit back on. Now what I also identified for this one was I could fussy cut out and almost create almost like a butterfly shape. And if you're following me for a little while, you know I love a butterfly. Um, so this was a perfect way to create this one. So I fussy cut out that big piece and then I've popped it up on some uh, cardboard and onto that gorgeous, gorgeous wood grain patterned paper as well it's just stunning that wood grain I love it so much and I thought that that was a really lovely anchoring point to allow those colors then to pop off the page and be the real focal point for the layout I have curled the edges of the butterfly as well um, just curled under actually instead of curling it up I've curled it under to give a little bit of a lift and just a little bit of a flighty feel to that as well now I know at some point that will probably squish down when it goes in an album but I have sort of glued it underneath as well to give it a little bit more opportunity to be lifted up now, like I said, I've gone for a really simple type layout here. Now, there's a couple of reasons. One, that pattern paper is very, very busy. Um, and also, two, I'm creating this in December. And I don't know about you, but my December is a crazy town time. Um, lots of work while I'm trying to get things finished for the year while I take a break. And lots of shopping and, part, you know, just completely organization about Christmas. I am a huge Christmas fan. Um, I decorate my whole house. So I really needed to make some of my layouts for this month quite simple, but I really, really love how this one turned out. So going back to one of the reasons why I went with the, also the simple with being um, with that busy patterned paper. To break it up a little bit, I felt it needed something, which is why I added the doily that is part of the kit this month as well, just to sort of break it up a little bit. And then I've backed my photo with some pattern paper, just in that lighter blue color. It's a pattern paper that is in the, in the kit this month. And I've just put a thin border around that just to allow the difference between the layers. And I've centered this one pretty much stock standard in the center of this. I thought it was a lovely way to sort of just bring out this, this photo of Oliver. And my embellishments are pretty much on the vertical. So I'm just adding in here some of those gorgeous florals from the Floral Ephemera Kit. That's a Paige Evans one. There's some lovely pieces that are, you know, like bouquet type flowers and then those single flowers as well. So I've popped those up on some cardboard just to give them a little bit more dimension. I love, love, love having dimension on the page. And then I'm just just randomly placing a few of the sticker sentiments around the page as well from the sticker sheet and a really super, super easy title. Now what I will also do right now for you is I will apologize for the shadows that are in my um, vids this month. Um, now there is a reason, it's a logical reason for me. I didn't really realize they were full on happening um, that way until I started watching things back. And it's mainly due to the fact of my Christmas decorating. I have my craft room close to, um, in, in my garage, which is where a lot of my lights, my outdoor lights have been strung up from. And I've used up all my power and I had no more PowerPoints, etc., to um, have all of my lights on while I was scrapping. So it was something that I needed to just 
put up with. Um, my scrapping does take a bit of a second chance, second line um, during during the month of December um, because of all of my Christmas decorating. Um, so as I've digressed again, um, I will go back to my layout. I did finish off with a couple of sprinklings of some white and gold shimmer, um, just some inks from my from my stash. And I've got a few close-ups as always. I will leave in the description box below all the details of where you can get this month's kit. And I hope I've given you just a little bit of inspiration. I want to thank you as always for popping in and spending a little bit of creating time with me. Thanks so much. Bye for now.